Hi everyone and welcome along. So I have a question for you. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? Well, grab your paints and we're going to find out. So quit. <laughs> so we've got an A5 page and an egg drawing done using my little technique where I use a compass for a circle and measure up. If you want to see that drawing demonstration in full, check out my Ukrainian Easter egg quick fix from last week. But now we are going to draw a rooster. Well, it is Easter, so a nice chicken. Um, so I'm going to draw a sort of the base of the the body. So it's a sort of an oval with a bit more of a, a, a point to it. And um, we're going to get some legs going there. This is a sort of a simplified rooster. And then we'll come up and come back on ourselves. And then curl it up and then we can have all kinds of plumage. And then on this side, we'll curve all the way over. And have the comb. and a little beak and there we have our nice of shape so we need a wing the plumage just do a little sort of frazzly shape there and then creating up we're basically creating different sections for our rooster and then some little feet okay so that is our basic shape and then what I want to do around the rest of the um, shape is I want to paint in some nice seasonal plants and a few eggs as well because it is Easter. So I am going to just fill in the egg shape with some stems like that and eggs as well. Now um, we're going to do this in a limited palette of just blue um, because I love the idea of this design almost having a sort of china plate tile pattern feel to it. So what I'm doing is I'm just using my mop brush to, to wet the area as close to the edge as possible and trying to be neat and tidy with it. There we go. You can see it's, it's just a case of wetting the area but not being, not sort of overloading the page with it. And I'm going to use some cobalt blue deep and what I want to do is I just want to do a, a sort of fairly pale wash of colour to just create the sense of the outline of the egg. So I've got my size 8 brush and the hope is is that you can see how the, the colour has sort of bled in to the middle nicely. And I can just do, you can do like an extra sweep with the brush if you want, just to try and smooth it. But it, it will, it will smooth on its own. So don't 
fuss over it too much. clean off the brush and just do one or two more smoothing smoothing lines oh I'm pleased with that that's good okay so we need to let that dry 100% and then we can start doing some painting that's nice and dry and I've just um, taped down the corners to keep it all in place I'm now um, I've mixed up some of the blues in my palette cobalt blue deep which is what we did this with French ultramarine blue and some Prussian blue. And I'm now going to go through and fill in with color some of the shapes that I want to have filled in. So the Easter eggs will be one and the actual chicken or rooster sections will be another. So, for example, I'm sort of painting this in a quite simplified style. And then we'll be going over the top with layered detail. Keep these washes nice and diluted because we're going to be layering over the top with different uh, concentrations of colour when we're doing some fine line detail later on. So yeah, um, you know, choose your, your colours. I am doing it all in blue, different tones of blue. And they're all just, you know, subtly different, but they they all work nicely together. I'm sticking with the more kind of royal blue tones than than sort of greeny blue tones. I think the Prussian blue is probably the nearest thing. This is Prussian blue to a greeny blue. Now I'm going to focus on the flowers, so I'm going to just draw in some circles where I want the flowers to be and I'm just going to do really simplified um, daisies and a few snowdrops I think. Um, actually no I think we'll just keep it really simple just do daisies because this is a stylized piece and we're going to be adding some fun details to the rooster and the eggs and everything else so that's the interesting thing isn't it about not overloading your piece with too much detail when you're when you've got loads going on already you just don't need it so I've got my size zero brush and I'm going to just enjoy painting in lots of little separate petals in the wash colour and again I'm just mixing up the colours whether you want to keep your, your flowers sort of all the same colour blue on one stem or you want to mix it up, it is up to you. And the whole point of this is we're placing things to sort of fill the space nicely um, but every now and then you, know, you might have something a bit close together so you can make your petals a bit smaller like that.
but the good thing is because we've painted in that blue background um, our egg shape is nicely established already so we don't need to worry about sort of filling in the whole thing with tons and tons of shapes like I did on uh, Tuesday this week we've got a lovely uh, sort of loose watercolour floral Easter egg design uh, and that relies more on filling out the space with lots of nice flowers. So I hope that we're providing you with plenty of Easter crafting inspiration. What's nice is quite often I, uh, I sort of sit down with a rough plan and then when I start painting things start to happen. Like I didn't actually decide to do it all blue until I literally sat down and started filming. I was like, oh, that'd be cool. Cause I really love like Delftware blue and white plates and things like that. And I just suddenly thought actually this, this chicken or this rooster reminds me of a, of a bowl that I have from a holiday to France by a ceramic designer called Enrio Camper. And it was all predominantly blue and white. So it's funny how when you just sit down and allow yourself to sort of think a bit creatively and not put too much pressure on yourself, you can come up with some really cool ideas. Now that's dry, it's time to have some fun. So I've got my small brushes, I've got a size zero, my rigger brush and the four tenths. And I want to basically outline and detail um, all of these items but I want to do it in a slightly sort of stylized manner so um, I want to sort of evoke maybe folk art designs or things like that where it's a, a sort of combination of doing simple marks so I'm just using the concentrated cobalt blue deep here to with my size 4 tenths brush to put these little of curve shapes and you can see just from doing a, a simple thing like that you start to create a nice texture um, and essentially we're just going to yeah work our way across all of the areas and find interesting ways to colour and create detail. So I'm sort of still thinking about creating roundness on the shape there so I just sort of did it on the edge of that leg shape um, but I also like the idea also of like mixing up the, the blues we even use for the detail bits, possibly looking at doing some kind of sort of decorative folk art pattern. So doing some kind of little flower design like that this is one of those projects to take your time over to enjoy the detail making and to yeah think about what what would be what would make a fun pattern and then there's always more you can you can add in but what i really like about these is how they will stem literally from uh from nature and there is a real celebration of the season.
So I've added some little dashes to the, the feathers, dots to the eggs, and then with the little flowers, I'm uh, playing around with a few different sort of styles, essentially just using my four tenths brush to circle the middle, maybe add an extra dot in the middle, and then some kind of detail to the petals if they're big enough. This is very much a stylized approach to the flowers. So I'm now at the stage that I've filled in all the patterns I want to fill in. Um, so for that one there, I just did a load of little loopy shapes and then just put a slightly more squashy, fat little curve in there. Um, but now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the rigger brush to do some more um, sort of long lined outlining. So here we go. So you can just see how great the rigger brush is. And then also with that we can add some leaves. So I'm just painting in some extra little lines. It's such an amazing brush this and a brush that I sell. If you want to get your hands on one you can just go to my Etsy shop or my online shop and uh, yeah experience the joy of the amazing control of the rigger brush. The rigger brush is definitely best for like long slender lines, like it would be good for doing lines for the feathers. But when it comes to doing lines that have got a bit more twist and turn, like doing the comb for example, I'll be going back to my little four tenths detail brush or even my two tenths or zero. So I'm now going to outline all the other bits that I haven't either that I haven't sort of added any detail to or that have just been left bare like the the chicken's feet. And this, yeah, this would be quite tricky with the rigger brush, as you can imagine. And then, of course, you, now you've got that smaller brush, you can just add in these leaves that I was talking about. And that just means you can fill up any empty spaces. So there we have a lovely sort of full chicken uh, and egg design um, and what you could do, I quite like the idea of maybe doing a little dashes around the edge just sort of nice and uh, rough and just I like sort of making these patterns uh, really sort of hand done. So we'll do that all the way around the edge, then rub out the pencil and we will be left with a really stunning Easter pattern. So I'm just finishing this off with the cobalt blue deep. So we've just used cobalt blue deep French ultramarine blue and Prussian blue 
to create this design and you can see it's just all about using different concentrations of those colours to create a really varied piece. And there is the finished article with the pencil rubbed out. Um, I really enjoyed painting that one. I loved sort of taking my time over that and just enjoying the process. So um, have a go, see what you come up with and thanks so much for watching. Happy Easter! Thanks so much for watching that one. I really hope you enjoyed painting that one with me. I want to say a huge thank you to my patrons for their support because that support enables us to keep creating videos like these that everyone can enjoy. And if you enjoyed it, then hit the like button and comment below to let me know how you got on with that one. And of course, if you never want to miss another video, then hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell and we'll see you again next time. Bye.